Well, I'd like to start off my second uh, presentation here today by talking about some of the things that the previous slide mentioned. Um, first off, um, one of the things that Amir mentioned earlier was that he said having official language would make us more united. Having one language would unite us all. Well, that would unite the people that speak English, but like I mentioned earlier, there's 10 million people that are illiterate or can't speak English or speak it poorly. So yeah, you're uniting everybody but those 10 million people that you're now specifically excluding because they can't speak English. So if you feel that's right, then I'm sorry. But, um, and one thing that we've been talking about, me and David have been talking about, is the right that will be infringed or taken away because of having the English as official language. Making English the official language is not that. It's not just the title. It's like, oh, America's official language is English. Okay, let's move on to the next country and keep learning on stuff. No. It's going to do more stuff, like like we said, take away rights. It's going to infringe voting, uh, education money, just cost and everything. So it's more than just the title. I'm going to put that out there. Um, Um, one of the things that uh, Frank said is that that they had said earlier that if bilingual education would be cut, and today that uh, bilingual education isn't mandatory, and they don't have to support it now. But in these tough economic times, that they don't have to support it, and they're already looking at some more cuts. And if more cuts are going to be made, especially when an English only language, uh, English only policy is passed, that's just going to give them more reason. Now we definitely don't have to, and it's now that it's part of the Constitution, that, that's more of us just saved a little bit of money there. So that's, again, putting the bilingual education at risk. And one of the things that Frank says, uh, quoting him, is a lot of money wasted on like, doing the things, bilingual ballots, bilingual printing in government. If, if they think that it's wasting money to aid people that unfortunately can't speak English, and yes, an English-dominated society, especially in the United States, if it's a waste of money to help them, then again, that's not right. Um, it's not a waste. And the personal example they used that his mom uses the Korean voting ballots to help her vote just because she finds it easier, but she does speak English just fine. Yeah, there's going to be the people out there that do that, but he said it's easier for her. So that's one thing. It's helping his mom. And again, back to the 10 million people that can't speak and read English. It's definitely helping them, and when they have no other option. And um, uh, that's it for me.